Greetings everyone dear students in the previous class we have studied about the pin diagram of 8086 microprocessor and in today's class we'll discuss about the programming of microprocessors that means how we can program a microprocessor what are the different type of languages which may be used to program the microprocessors so let's start the programming of microprocessors may be done by using machine language by using hex code language assembly level language or by using high level language so before starting this class we should have some knowledge of some basic terms like source language what is source language the source language is defined as the language used by the programmer to write the programs we all are aware about the different type of languages but in case of programming the language which is used by the programmer is known as the source language machine language machine language is basically the language in which a machine or a computer works that is called the machine language and the code which is used for writing the machine languages is known as machine code okay now next is program what is program the sequence of instructions which are used to perform a particular task is called as a program the software a set of program written for a particular machine or a computer is called a software for that machine or computer okay these are some basic terms now we are moving towards the machine language program the program what is machine language program a program written in form of ones and zeros is known as a machine language program aap jab dekhenge to jo machine language hai wo basically kya hai ones aur zeros ki form mein hoti hai binary ki form mein hoti hai machine ko jo samajh mein aati hai language wo one and zeros ki form mein aati hai to jo bhi aapka program hai jo zeros aur ones ki form mein likha hota hai that program is known as machine language program okay for example If we want to add the content of register A with the content of register B then we use the code 1000000000 for 8085 microprocessor now say if we want to move the content of register B to register A then we will use the code 0111000000 for 8085 microprocessor why i have written here for 8085 because these codes are specific for the type of microprocessor for which you are writing the program in machine language okay now next demerits of mlp that is machine language program when we write the codes in form of ones and zeros then it becomes very difficult to debug a program okay it is very time consuming process it takes more time to enter in machine now say for 8 bit microprocessor you have to write down the codes by 8 bit for 16 bit microprocessor you have to write down the code in 16 bits for 32 bit microprocessor you have to write down the code with 32 bits and to enter those like say we, if you are dealing with 32 bit microprocessor then to enter that code of 32 bit is a very complex task now say if number of machine codes are there in the program then it is a very lengthy process to enter the complete program that's why we call that it is a very time consuming process and difficult to understand and it is very boring okay more chances of error when you enter the program in form of ones and zeros then the chances of error occurring becomes very high long programs to perform a task if you want to write down a program to perform a particular task using the machine language then the code length becomes very high very long okay these are some demerits of machine language program to overcome these demerits we deal with the hexadecimal language program okay that is hlp hexadecimal the codes written in hexadecimal programs are known as hexadecimal codes and 
A program written in form of hexadecimal codes is called hexadecimal language program. Earlier we discussed that to add the content of register A with the content of register B, we used a binary code. Now if you want to execute this instruction, then you have to utilize the code 80H48085 microprocessor. Next example is to move the content of register B to register A. In this case, the code which is to be utilized utilized is 78H that is 78H for five microprocessor. But machine understands only the machine cores. They are not able to understand the hexadecimal cores. So before transmitting this hexadecimal code, you have to convert it into the machine code with the help of the code converter. That means if you want to add the content of register A with the content of register B, for that you use the code 80H. So you have to convert it into the 1000000 by using the code converter. And then machine will be able to understand that you want to add the content of register A with the content of register B. B. Otherwise, it is not possible. Hexadecimal system have many advantages in comparison to binary systems. Here, it is easy to write the program in comparison to binary systems. Why? Because for like say if you, uh, you are utilizing the 8-bit microprocessor, then you have to use the two hex digits only in comparison to 8 bits in case of binary system. And next is error may be detected easily. In this case, the chances of error detection is more in comparison to binary systems. Now, the disadvantages of using hexadecimal systems are not user friendly. It is user friendly in comparison to binary systems, but in comparison to other languages, it is not so much user friendly. Difficult to remember to cram the codes in form of hexadecimal codes is a very difficult task. It is a time consuming process that means it takes more time to enter in the machine and difficult to understand. If a person is not aware about the hexadecimal codes, then it is very difficult to understand the codes. Extra hardware is required by the system to convert it into the machine code. That means machine can only understand the programs which are written in the machine codes or the machine language or in form of zeros and ones. So you have to convert the program which is written in hex code system or hexadecimal system into the machine code. For that you need the extra hardware that is code convert. What is next? Yes. The next Next is assembly language program. A program written in mnemonics is known as assembly language program. And what is mnemonic? Mnemonics are basically the easily understandable alphanumeric symbols. For example, if you want to add the content of register A with the content of register B, then you will use add A comma B for 8086 microprocessor and if you want to move the content of register B to the register A then you will use the command move A comma B for 8086 microprocessor that means this add add is your rememberable alphanumeric symbol move move is your rememberable alphanumeric symbols. These alphanumeric symbols are made with the help of the three to four alphabets of English language, which are known as your mnemonics. These alphanumeric symbols are very easy to learn and very easy to understand in comparison to binary codes as well as the hex code. Assembly language program have many advantages over the machine language program or the hex code system. First, it is easy, easy to understand, okay? Faster, it is faster in comparison to hex code systems as well as the machine language systems. Faster in what sense? To insert the code in the machine, it is faster, user friendly, it is user friendly and one mnemonic have only one machine code. With the advantages, assembly language program also have some disadvantages in comparison to other languages and these are it is not so much easy it is easy in comparison to your machine language and hex code system but in comparison to other languages this is not so much easy it means it is difficult in comparison to high level language program time consuming process takes more time to enter in the machine it is microprocessor or machine dependent 
so called low level language that means the lang low level language is that which is the machine dependent or your computer dependent or your microprocessor dependent means if you are writing the program for 885 microprocessor that means that have the special type of instructions if you are writing the programs for 886 microprocessor then that have different commands user should have the knowledge of the microprocessor means when the programmer is writing the program in assembly languages he cannot write without knowing about the microprocessor for which he wants to write the program like say if a person want to write the program for 886 microprocessor and if he is aware about the 885 microprocessor it is not possible to write the program for the 886 microprocessor with the same concepts as utilized by programmer to write the program for 885 microprocessor okay next is not portable that means the portability means if a programmer have written the program for 886 microprocessor that cannot be used for 885 microprocessor it may be possible that the program written for 885 microprocessor may run on 886 but not in every case so that's why we call is not portable long programs to perform a task you have to write down the number of instructions like say if you want to multiply two numbers then in assembly language you have to write down the 7 to 8 instructions to multiply two numbers extra software is also required to convert the assembly language program into the machine language programs and that software is known as assembler the mnemonics or the instructions written in assembly language program are converted into the binary codes or the machine codes with the help of a converter or a software that is known as the assembler now assembler may be of two types it may be self assembler or it may be cross assembler self assembler means an assembler becomes self assembler when it runs on the microcomputer for which it produces machine codes that means this causes slow speed of overall execution of the प्रोग्राम अगर आपका जो प्रोग्राम है असेंबलर का जो प्रोग्राम है वो भी आपका उसी माइक्रो प्रोसेसर पर रन होना है जिस माइक्रो प्रोसेसर पर आपका जो टास्क का जो प्रोग्राम है वो रन होना है और उसी को आपने अब कन्वर्ट करना है किस में असेंबली लैंग्वेज से मशीन लैंग्वेज में तो आपका वही प्रोसेसर आपका यूज होना है सारे काम को परफॉर्म करने के लिए सारे ऑपरेशन को परफॉर्म करने के लिए तो इससे क्या होगा आपका जो ओवरऑल एग्जीक्यूशन है प्रोग्राम का उसकी जो स्पीड है वो आपकी क्या हो जाएगी स्लो हो जाएगी सो दैट्स वाई क्रॉस असेंबलर्स आर प्रेफर्ड एन असेंबलर बिकम्स क्रॉस असेंबलर वेन इट रन ऑन ए कंप्यूटर ऑफ द मशीन अदर देन दैट फॉर विच इट प्रोड्यूस द मशीन कोर्स दैट मीन्स जो सेपरेट प्रोसेसर आप यूज करते हैं असेंबलर्स को रन करने के लिए जो कि आपकी असेंबली लैंग्वेज कोर्स को मशीन लैंग्वेज कोर्स में कन्वर्ट कर देता है ओके दिस कॉज इज फास्टर स्पीड ऑफ ओवरऑल एग्जीक्यूशन ऑफ द प्रोग्राम नाउ नेक्स्ट इज हाई लेवल लैंग्वेज हाई लेवल लैंग्वेजेज आर बेसिकली द मशीन इंडिपेंडेंट लैंग्वेजेज दैट्स वाई दीज आर कार्ड एज high level languages while the languages which are dependent on the machine are known as low level languages instructions written in high level languages are called statements instead of the mnemonics which we studied in assembly language it is procedure oriented one statement of high level language corresponds to many instructions of assembly language that means this feature of high level language may have advantages when you are writing the programs many instructions may be written within a single statement while when it is the case of the storing of the instruction in the form of the machine codes then it will take too much space statements written in high level languages are converted into the machine code with the help of the extra software and that software is called as compiler while in case of assembly language we called that software assembler which converted the assembly language program or assembly language codes into the machine code while in case of high level language we called the software as compiler advantages of high level language over assembly level language writing program in high level language is easier and approximately 10 times faster 
in comparison to the programs written in the assembly language as we discussed for assembly language program to write a program for the multiplication of two numbers you have to write down the 7 to 8 instructions while in case of high level language program you have to just write down one statement that is s is equal to p multiplied by the q programs written in high level language are portable that means that they are not machine dependent if you are writing the program in high level language for 885 that will also run on the 8086 or any other microprocessor also high level language have standard syntax and easier documentation okay programmers does not need to know about the microprocessor for which he wants to write the program no doubt high level language have many advantages over assembly language but it also have some disadvantages or demerits over assembly language okay and these are it consumes more memory space because one statement is equivalent to many mnemonics in case of assembly language programmer need to learn the syntaxes or set of rules for writing the program in the particular high level language like if a programmer want to write a program in Fortran, then he have to learn, he have to understand that language. Computation time is more because all the programs or the statements written in high level languages are converted into the machine codes. So the computation time is more in comparison to other languages written for the microprocessors. When the programmer is writing the programs in high level language, in that case more software and hardware support is required. Next is compiler which is used to convert high level language program into the machine code is costlier in comparison to the assembler which is used to convert the ALP into the machine codes. Now we have seen the machine language, hex code system assembly language and the high level language which may be utilized for the programming of microprocessors. Now what is the conclusion of overall discussion? The conclusion is that if we need high execution speed then machine language is better but it consumes more time during the entering of the program to the RAM of microprocessor. If the execution speed doesn't matter for us then we can write the program in high level language or in assembly level language. But the system which supports the assembly level language is less costlier in comparison to the system which supports the high level language. So we may decide uh, in what language we want to write the programs for the microprocessors according to our requirement. So now it's the time to end the discussion. So thank you, thank you for watching this video, thank you all.